sixth grade, module two, lesson two, classwork. So example one is referring to this chart down here. And so it wants you to choose one of these problems and solve it up here, and then we'll just solve the rest down in the chart. So let's do question number one. And it says, how many half miles are in 12 miles? So we want to know how many half miles are in 12 miles. So we want to write it as a division expression. So what we're doing is we're figuring out how many halves are in 12. So we're taking 12 and splitting it up into halves to see how many we would get. Now remember it's an expression which means we just leave it like that. It doesn't need to have an answer or an equal sign. Write this as a multiplication expression. So I'm going to actually draw a picture first so that we can see better why the multiplication expression is the way it is. So I'm going to do 12 divided in halves. I'm going to draw 12. Okay, so there's 12 holes. Now I'm going to divide them in half. And then when I counted them all, I would have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24. So what we've really done here, you can see, is we took 12, the 12 holes, split them in half, or we multiplied them by 2. So we got 24. So our multiplication expression would be 12 times 2. So 12 divided by a half is the same as 12 times 2. Hopefully that picture helps you to visualize that. So then we can just write that in our box. So this was 12 divided by a half. This is 12 times 2. And then write an equation showing the equivalence. We just need to write 12 divided by a half is equal to 12 times 2. So then the next one, how many quarter hours are in five hours? So we're taking the five hours, and we want to know how many quarter hours, one fourth hours. And if we wanted to know the answer to that, we could just do five times four. So the answer would be 20. Five divided by one fourth is equal to five times four. Number three, how many third cups are in nine cups? So we would have nine divided by one third. That would be equal to nine times three. And nine divided by one third, not one half, one third, is equal to nine times three. Number four, how many one eighth pizzas are in four pizzas? So 4 divided by 1 eighth will be equal to 4 times 8, and 4 divided by oops, 1 eighth is equal to 4 times 8. And lastly, how many 1 fifths are in 7 holes? So 7 holes divided by 1 fifth will be equal to 7 times 5, and 7 divided by 1 fifth is equal to 7 times 5, or 35. Example 2. Molly has 9 cups of flour. If this is 3 fourths of the number she needs to make bread, how many cups does she need? Construct a tape diagram by reading it backward. Draw a tape diagram and label the unknown. So we're going to do this step by step. So it says, draw a tape diagram, label the unknown. So here's our tape diagram, label the unknown. So what we don't know is how many cups she needs. Next, shade in 3 fourths. So now, I'm going to take it, 
split it into fourths and shade in three fourths. C says label the shaded region to show that nine is equal to three fourths of the total. So we have our three fourths and now label the shaded region. So this part right here to show that nine, this is nine is equal to three fourths and analyze the model to determine the quotient. All right, so if we know that these three pieces are equal to nine, we can take the nine and split it into three equal pieces and we'll get three. So each of those pieces is equal to three which means that this last part is equal to three. And the total number of cups she would need would be equal to 12. So what we found was that three units was equal to nine, which means one unit was equal to three. So all four of the units, we just had to do three times four to get 12. So she needs 12 cups. Exercises one through five. Number one, a construction company is setting up signs on two miles of road. If the company places a sign every one fourth mile, how many signs will it use? So it's setting up signs on two miles of a road and they set up one every fourth of a mile. So one way we could do it is using a tape diagram. So this whole thing is equal to two. And if I place a sign every fourth mile, so now I'm gonna split these into fourths. So there's the one hole split into fourths, another one split into fourths. So we have, so each of these is a sign. So there's four signs, eight signs. So there would be eight signs. Another way to do this without um, using a tape diagram is you could look and see that we have two miles split into one fourth. And if we make this into fourths, two, making it into fourths because that's what we're splitting it into, two is equal to eight fourths. Eight fourths divided by one fourth, basically eight divided by one would be equal to eight fourths or eight signs. So there's another way to do it without the diagram. Number two, George bought four submarine sandwiches for a birthday party. If each person will eat two thirds of a sandwich, how many people can George feed? Okay, so let's do it first without the tape diagram and then I'll solve it with the tape diagram. So we have four sandwiches that we're dividing into two thirds. So if I change four into thirds, that would be equal to 12 thirds. And if I do 12 thirds, divided by two thirds, I would get six. So let's see if that uh, works out in our tape diagram. So I'm gonna have four sandwiches. So the whole is equal to four. Split it into, there's our four sandwiches. And then each person's going to eat two thirds. So I'm going to split it all into thirds. And then I'll circle groups of two thirds. So there's one person. Another, this person would eat those two thirds. Two thirds, two thirds, two thirds, two thirds. So we would have one, two, three, four, five, six so george can feed six people number three miranda buys six pounds of nuts if she puts three-fourths pounds in each bag how many bags can she mix 
So six pounds, we're dividing it into three-fourths pound bags. So again, if I wanted to solve it without the diagram, I can make six into fourths, which will be equal to 24 fourths, because 24 divided by four is six. So if we have 24 fourths divided by three fourths, 24 divided by 3 would be equal to 8. So let's see if we get 8. So 6 pounds. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. And she puts 3 fourths pound in each bag. So let's split them all into fourths. And now I'm going to sort it into groups of three-fourths. So there's three-fourths. Here's three-fourths. So we got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So that would be eight bags. Number four, Margo freezes eight cups of strawberries. If this is two thirds of the total strawberries that she picked, how many cups of strawberries did Margo pick? So this one's a little bit different because they didn't give us the whole. They said that eight cups is equal to two thirds of the total. So if I draw a tape diagram, and split it into thirds. We know that two thirds is equal to eight cups. And so if two thirds is equal to eight cups, that means if we split that into those two equal pieces, each one of these is equal to four cups. So then the last part is also four cups, and we would have a total of 12 cups of strawberries that she picked. So we could have done it without the tape diagram. We know that eight is equal to two thirds, which means that four would be equal to one third. So then if we wanted to get three thirds, all we'd have to do is four times three, which was 12 cups. Number five. Regina is chopping up wood. She's chopped 10 logs so far. If the 10 logs represent 5 eighths of the logs that need to be chopped, how many logs need to be chopped in all? So let's try it without a tape diagram first. So we don't know the whole, but we know she's chopped 10 logs, and that's equal to 5 eighths. Now if we want to know 1 eighth, we can divide 10 by 5, because we divided by 5 to get here. So let's divide by 5. So 10 divided by 5 is 2. So 2 is equal to 1 eighth. So if I wanted to know 8 eighths, or all of it, I would have to do 2 times 8, and I would get 16 logs. If I wanted to show that with a tape diagram, I could show it divided into eighths. And we know that 5 eighths is equal to 10. So then each one of these pieces is 2. And then the extra ones would also be 2, which would add up to 16 logs. <laughs>